Hi everybody, so the Telrad is an absolutely wonderful piece of kit um, projecting the uh, the red circles up onto the night sky to allow you to align your telescope. The only problem with it is that this glass tends to collect dew like a magnet and what I was going to do was um, wonder whether I can fit in a resistor um, into the space just behind there and that will act as a little heating element if I calculate it uh, correctly. Yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing is instead of using the standard 12 volt supply, using the 5 volt supply uh, from the uh, the USB and I want roughly uh, 0 point, 0 0.5, half an amp uh, of uh, power, of current. So we've got these uh, these standard triangles which are VIR and uh, PVI where V is voltage, I is current, R is resistance, P is power and what we can do is to transpose to try and work out what we're going to get out of that so first of all if I want to know the resistance I need for that I need uh, voltage over current so I need 5 divided by 0.5 is 10 ohms and if I want to know what the current that's going to give me um, then the power in terms of watts is the voltage times um, the current as well so that is uh, yeah 5 times 0 0.5 so P equals 5 times uh, 0 0.5 equals 2.5 watts okay so two and a half watts of power at 10 ohms that's the uh, the resistance that I'm thinking about so I went out and got some resistors and I've uh, been trying out different sort of um, resistor networks to see what will work um, so I've got two 10 ohm 5 watt resistors here and I've got uh, three so what I've got here is the USB is actually powered at the moment some thin cable I just want to test it out and I've got two resistors and yeah they're hot yeah hot to touch under permanent power <sighs> ouch yeah maybe a little bit too hot I'm not sure might be better just to use the 20 ohm two of the 10 ohm resistors and uh, soldering them together um, so they do the same sort of thing rather than the uh, the slightly smaller arrangement that I just showed you and then to connect it up what I've got is a uh, chassis mount two and a half mil plug-in connector um, like that it's nice and neat when it's on the side if you can see it yeah, tiny little hole and then my two and a half mil plug will just fit into it when I need it what I've done is just to connect two of them together at the one end and I think about that I'll just poke through so they're going to be in, in series rather than parallel so that basically the circuit will go down through one of them back the other way that means instead of 10 um, ohms I get 20 ohms and uh, whereas if I'd put them in parallel then it would be the one over the resistance so it would be somewhat different so it means I need three holes in the towel rad to fit that in and then what I'm thinking is I uh, would connect all the the wire work up through the holes um, so they'll fit in there hopefully I'll do the soldering before I, I put them through hopefully that'll make it easier okay so we can use the same color wires it doesn't matter in terms of polarity which way around they go so that's what it looks like so I just need some holes in the top of the tail rad so there's actually quite a lot of space inside the tail rad and uh, if we look down there you'll see on this side that there's a small circuit which basically um, controls the uh, dimmer on the, the reticule so I want to try and avoid that if I can so I'm thinking that the uh, I'm just going to have the, the dead end um, on that side and the two wires coming out the other way okay so I used a uh, little bit of plastic just to drill a hole a two mil hole which is the drill I'm thinking of using just to make sure it will uh, it'll go over the solder 
And it does just about. So I should be able to push that in, I hope. on I can uh, glue everything in place of course all right I just want to check that it's not interfering with the glass oh it's close that was the problem with the bigger resistors to be honest okay it shouldn't interfere with the head-up display as you can see these third hands are really useful For little jobs like this. Okay. A bit fiddly. Okay, so we just want to tin up the connector in the same way. Okay, so uh, let's just do a quick continuity check okay that's better two 10 ohm resistors 20 ohms 0.6 close enough okay so we uh, finish off with some two-part epoxy uh, which is great stuff the only downside of it is it's white um, so I might have to go over that with a sharpie later on okay Pretty first sight in this stuff, so I've got to get on with it. All right, so I'll just leave that to set for about five minutes. Okay, so that's it all finished up. There's the, uh, the little plug um, which takes the two and a half mil jack from a USB lead and uh, wired up inside the two resistors which sit behind there and thankfully don't get in the view of the uh, the main reticle so there we go for the sake of uh, £1.50 a nice little dew prevention on a tell rad